Good morning, 751. Now, happy Friday to you. All week we've been showing you this great work from local artist Hunter J. And now we get to hear how he does it. Good morning, Hunter. Hi, Glad good you're morning. Here. Thank you so much for having me. We've been enjoying these uh, these works this week. And we were just talking about the kind of botanical uh, right. bent you have and, and how you started that, why you like that. Yes, I like it just because it's a close-up version of the yeah. world. It's like... I don't know if you've ever heard of fractals, but it's like the close-ups, closest sure. you can get. Yes. Now these aren't like necessarily that, but it just causes you to look at it differently than what you might normally look at it. But I mean, like the the, the paintings that are in front of us here. I mean, you talk about close-up. It's like mm -hmm. macro macro painting, yeah. like, kind of yeah. like we hear about macro photography. It's, it's true. Uh, do you have mm -hmm. to get in close and get some pictures to you kind do. of figure out what you're going to paint? You do. I work both from photos and real life, both. Yeah. That's pretty so, cool. Now, yeah. why why so close up? Why why do you want to focus on what the little details? Maybe we don't see in everyday life? Yeah, it's just kind of part of like a hidden world that sure. I think is out there that people don't notice. It's all this wonderful stuff is there for you to see, but maybe you're not noticing it. <laughs> so I kind of like to focus on what maybe you might miss. It reminds me of that movie Epic. You know, when the tiny little, little creatures in the forest? I know. Uh, yeah, no. Well, that's totally. kind of, that's kind of that is, that is I saw that movie. Thank it's it's you. fantastic. <laughs> now, why did you pick acrylic as opposed to like chalk or pencil, or did you start off doing those and then move into acrylic? Well, I've done all of those, but acrylic was just so natural for me because it dries so fast and I can work so fast. Yeah. And oil is just takes forever and you have to have a special kind of patience which I don't have. It's kind of like Ken. You have to have patience to deal with Ken. Just, he's like our... But I, I love how you really do go out and, and find this. You were saying that in the break, the one uh, that's right behind Brooke, that that one was really in Barcelona? Yes, yeah, like right in the middle of Barcelona. But as you see, I, I just wanted to take a different view to force you to think about it differently. It looks like it's in the middle of the jungle. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So awesome. if people are at home thinking, hey, I like this stuff. I'd like to put one on my wall. Where can they find your work? Where can they buy your work? Well, I'm on hunter-j at artistwebsites.com. That's my website. Or denverartist.com. Okay. And if you just search Hunter J on the internet, I'm actually the first one that comes up. Nice. <laughs> Somehow. Hey, nice. Know. Classy. Hunter, thank you so much for coming thank in. You. you can also go to our Good Day Colorado Pinterest page and find out more about him. And uh, thanks for being part of the show this week. Thanks, Hunter. Thank you for having me. So now take a look at this. Holiday lights are getting so bright, now astronauts can see them from space. That's right, NASA says satellite images show certain cities shine between 20 and 30% brighter during the holiday season. Out in the suburbs, some areas shine as much as 50% brighter. So a lot of those, as Kirk said, inflatables out in the uh, suburbs. But they're I not guess. blinking. How come they're not blinking? <laughs> they're not right. to music or nothing. They work so hard on those displays. Don't look for Denver, though, on this. Snow on the ground already reflects too much light. So NASA can only analyze snow-free cities? How about that? NASA says future satellite images may be able to tell the difference between traditional lights and LED lights. That means they won't be able to see, like, the torchlight parades that happen on Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve at all of the ski mm -hmm. resorts. I was just thinking how cool that would be to see that from space. <laughs> Talk about guess I'm out But of it's luck. not like the view from space is a crummy view, no, regardless. Not at all. It's, it's beautiful. I bet you'd like to paint that. I, yeah, I mean, I was just looking at those images. I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty awesome. You owe us royalties on <laughs> <laughs>